few words for us. We found something on the internet that's quite interesting, so I'm going to read it for you. Remember this at Christmas time, according to the Alaska Department of Fish and Game, while both male and female reindeer grow antlers in the summer each year, male reindeer drop their antlers at the beginning of winter, <laughs> usually late November to mid-December. Female reindeer retain their antlers till after they give birth in the spring. Therefore, according to every historical rendition depicting Santa's reindeer, every single one of them, from Rudolph to Blitzen, had to be a girl. <laughs> Only women would be able to drag the fat man. <laughs> in a red velvet suit all around the world in one night and not get lost. <laughs> I wouldn't read that. I had to get her to do it. <laughs> I'm going to check that out. Yeah. That is the truth. Do we have anybody at home? Yeah. There's got to be one male deer. <laughs> so nice to be here. Thank you, Pastor. Pastors. Uh, where's the one? Ruth Hoy. That'd be a delightful couple. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. We flew in last night, and we were to be here earlier, but um, on the plane coming from Toronto to Los Angeles, a man had uh, been taking too much into his system, and uh, he was rather acting up on the plane, so they had to turn around midair and fly back to Toronto. And so, uh, isn't it something one man's act can throw hundreds off? All those going, all those waiting, all those who missed their flights, connecting flights. And um, so uh, I was, I said, let me at him. <laughs> With the love of Jesus. He needs Jesus somehow. He needs Jesus. You thought I was going to bump him over the head. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we were wanting to uh, reach him because anybody like that re really needs Jesus. It's great to see a number of our friends, old and new. It, it is, there's nothing like Christmas get together with family, so I feel we've got family. Amen. This is written about uh, what is happening in the United States, but it's also in Canada. And uh, Brother Greg, you alluded to it. It was the month before Christmas, when all through our land not a Christian was praying nor taking a stand. See, the PC police had taken away the reason for Christmas no one could say. The children were told by their schools not to sing about shepherds and wise men and angels and things. It might hurt people's feelings, the teachers would say. December the 21st or 25th is just a holiday. Yet the shoppers were ready with cash, checks and credit, pushing folks down to the floor just to get it. <laughs> CDs from Madonna, an Xbox, an iPod. Something was changing, something quite odd. Right. Retailers promoted Ramadan and Kwanzaa. 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 <laughs> Here they go. Is that you? <laughs> In hopes to sell books by Franken and Fonda. As targets were hanging their trees upside down, and Lowe's, the word Christmas, was nowhere to be found. 
and Kmart and Staples and Pennies and Sears, you won't hear the word Christmas. It won't touch your ears. Inclusive, sensitive, diversity are words that were used to intimidate me. Now, Dashiell, now Darden, now Sharpton, Wolf Blitzen, <laughs> on Boxer, on Rather, on Kerry, on Clinton. <laughs> At the top of the Senate, there arose such a clatter to eliminate Jesus in all public matter. And we spoke not a word as they took away our faith, forbidden to speak of salvation and grace. The true gift of Christmas was exchanged and discarded. The reason for the season stopped before it started. So as you celebrate winter break under your dream tree, sipping your Tim Hortons or Starbucks, listen to me. Choose your words carefully. Choose what you say. Shout Merry Christmas, not Happy Holidays. Christmas, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Let's share it with everyone. Let's stand for a moment. Yeah. You've been sitting a long while. I've been enjoying this great music, but say Merry Christmas to a few who are around the table. Thank you. 